Hello, this is Martin Cohen, founder of Latin Percussion LP. We're at the year 1979. Business with Europe was just with this Amsterdam uh, distributor and it wasn't really big. Maybe a little customer in Basel, Switzerland. And I had an idea that I would send the clinician to Europe, to the Netherlands and beyond, and maybe get some converts to this music and buy my product. I called this customer maybe four times that day. And at the end of the last phone call, I said, look, we're going to send a band. And that band consisted of Tito Puente, Potato, and Johnny Rodriguez. The first place we worked was in Copenhagen, in Momot. Hugely successful. And the deal I had with these musicians, I don't know if I could work it out today, was that you do a clinic in the afternoon, a performance in the evening. By the time they hit the Tropical Institute in Amsterdam, which was filled with Suriname, people, they became blown away by this music and almost instantly it was a success in the Netherlands and in France where there was a large population of people from Martinique. And of all the things I did, which was going against popular tradition, there's not that I know of any musical instrument company that ever supported a band. I was able to grow through this crazy effort a, an international business that consisted of three tours of Europe and one of Japan. Now, during this tour, the biggest problem I had was Patato. He would see the weakness in me and he would start really being difficult. And I remember in the south of France, as we were leaving someplace, I happened to sit on the airplane next to Dizzy Gillespie and I was telling Dizzy about how he's driving me crazy. And Dizzy said to me, leave the motherfucker there. Just leave him. He don't know, speak no, no French. He don't speak no English. Just leave him there. But of course, I couldn't. And uh, the result was that through Patato, and Tito and Dandy, I was able to grow an international institution. <music> 